there's the obvious ways Trump makes it hard, right? He's he's so extreme. But are there other ways in which Trump being this larger than life figure makes it hard to write fiction about this moment? I, I think so because discourse has sort of fallen away. And and the way people communicate with one another is it he's the, the that landscape has been changed. Not just by him, by the way, you know. I think we have a lot of folks to thank, yeah. including Fox News. I mean, he, is a, he is a symptom, or he's yes. part of the disease. But it's like so much of what the show was built on doesn't seem shocking. I mean, it's sort of what I was saying before. It just doesn't seem shocking. The language doesn't really seem shocking. Or we had to mm -hmm. push it so far that it got almost borderline crazy shocking. Yeah. And I, I guess that sort of – there's that concept of like – Maybe it's time for like another West Wing show, like something a little more yeah, that's inspirational. What I think. Based to on kind the moon. Of <laughs> where, based where, on what? Based in the moon. Where? Where is it? <laughs> under, yeah. Is it under the ocean? No, but yeah, I know. But it's that <laughs> idea of like maybe it's a small town politics show. Come on, let's beat this thing out. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Come yeah. on. Um, but it, you know, just in the sense of like go the other way. It's got to be escapism like from something. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Because our horrible people. Watching our horrible people, I'm not. Sh it stopped maybe being an escape from the real horrible people. I yeah, don't know. There's a there's a line in the last episode. I think you're talking to Marjorie or Catherine. You say, "Restore faith in democracy." We couldn't do that if we wanted to, and that <laughs> felt very real. Yeah. <laughs> that felt very meta, yeah. but very frustrated too. Yeah, like, deeply, like deeply. what are we supposed to do? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I can't take that on. <laughs>